Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the typical characteristics and what are the various applications of this gun diode in practical. In previous video, I have explained about the construction of this gun diode and as well as its working with respect to the graphical representation and the graph is drawn between J and E instead of V and I. Okay, both are same, but here in terms of electric field and uh, current density, we have drawn the characteristics of gun diode. Okay, and I also explain about the gun diode operation, how the gun effect and uh, ridley watkin hill sub theory or uh, we can also say it is a two valley theory that affects the operation of this gun diode. Now, let us see what are the different types of characteristics that are associated with respect to the gun diode. So, typical characteristics, typical characteristics of this gun diode. It typically, gun diode typically uses a 10 to 12 volt supply with typical bias current typical bias current of 250 milli amperes typical bias current of 250 milli amperes giving a continuous wave power of continuous wave power of 25 milliwatts in X band in X band see here it typically uses a power supply how much is the power supply like the power supply required to operate this gun diode it is around 10 to 12 volts 10 to 12 volts with a typical bias current what is the current it requires 250 milli amperes and giving a power of the power output is 25 milliwatts power in X band okay what is the X band range it is 8 to 12 gigahertz 8 to 12 gigahertz that is the input voltage required current required and power is what is the power and what is the range of frequencies that it gives now Continuous wave power, I told you. Continuous wave power. CW power, what is the range that it can vary? It varies from 25 millivolts, 25 milliwatts to 250 milliwatts X band. 250 milliwatts x band another one is 100 milliwatts yet 18 to 26.5 gigahertz 18 to 26.5 gigahertz which is somewhat upper frequency compared to the x band like we can say it is ku band and 40 milliwatts at 26.5 to 40 gigahertz 26.5 to 40 gigahertz this is how much is the power from the carrier output coming to pulsed power pulsed power so pulsed power is how much it is 5 watts 5 watts that too in the range of x band the two in the X band range. Now coming to the efficiency of this one, 
efficiency when we are going to work with this uh, gun diode how much is the efficiency of this one efficiency is around 2% to 12% yet 1.5 to 5 watts carrier wave to 5 milliwatts carrier wave okay this is how much is the efficiency of this gun diode characteristics okay so another thing is gain bandwidth product gain bandwidth product gain bandwidth product which is greater than 10 decibels gain bandwidth product is also very good uh, feature which is having greater than 10 decibels and average gain is average gain is 1 to 12 decibels average gain is 1 to 12 decibels and noise figure noise figure it is 15 decibels noise figure is 15 decibels these are the important characteristics of this gun diode and I can also surely say that the characteristics we are now stated here for the gun diode are also applicable to transferred electron devices. Okay, there are no separate characteristics for this transferred electron device. So, the same characteristics we can also append or uh, attach to this transferred electron device because it is a type of that device. Coming to these applications, applications of gun diode applications of gun diode so where we can use this gun diode we know okay gun diode exhibits negative characteristics negative resistance characteristics de uh, devices always uh, dissipate the power so we can use such devices as microwave sourcing devices so that's why in transmitting devices especially we can use the source that's why uh, we can use this uh, gun diode as a transmitter, uh, as a source in the transmitting section. In radar transmitters, in radar in radar transmitters, that means police radar, comma CW. Doppler radar, police radar and CW Doppler radar. This is the first important application and the second one is pulsed gun diode oscillators, pulsed gun diode oscillators used in transponders used in transponders for a traffic control for atc we can say it is atc or a traffic control air traffic control and in industry telemetry systems and in industry telemetry systems okay so another application of this gun diode is broadband linear amplifier such as tvs we can use broadband linear amplifier broadband linear amplifier replacing replacing traveling wave tubes okay so because of this feature we can replace the traveling wave tubes with this gun diodes another one is fast computational fast combinational 
fast combinational and sequential logic circuits and sequential logic circuits okay fast computational so fast combinational and sequential logic circuits so low and medium power oscillator in microwave receivers low and medium power oscillator in microwave receivers as pump sources they can be used as used as pump sources in power amplifier in power amplifiers okay so these are the main important applications of this gun diode gun diodes have also an advantage over impact diodes impact diodes barrett and uh, um in trapped diodes are another avalanche transit time devices when we compare to the such devices they have very low noise these gun diodes have very low noise the, but the main disadvantage of this gun diode is that it is very temperature dependent that to the uh, 0.5 to 3 megahertz per centigrade change okay that means for every 1 centigrade there will be a change in the frequency of oscillations like 0.35 to 3 megahertz okay i will write here note the main drawback of gun diode is it is temperature dependent it is temperature dependent that means 0.5 to 3 megahertz per degree celsius change occurs okay that means this is the change in the frequency per 1 degree celsius 0.5 to 3 megahertz in frequency change occurs in frequency of frequency of oscillations frequency of oscillations okay so this is regarding the gun diode applications and advantages of this one and reported features thank you